Hi everyone, I hope you have seen our previous videos on integration. In this video, we are going to solve this problem. Please subscribe my channel for more such videos. So let's start. So this problem, we will first apply substitution method of integration. Then we will apply integration by parts rule. Okay, so let's do that. So first we will substitute x by sin theta. Okay. Now, if you differentiate, this will be dx equal to cos theta d theta. Okay. Now, why we are taking x equal to sin theta? Because sin inverse x will be theta. So, this term will be replaced as well as, see, in the denominator term, there is a root and 1 minus x square. So, if you put x equal to sin theta, so this will be 1 minus sin square theta. And what is the value of 1 minus sin square theta? That is cos square theta. So, root over cos square theta will be cos theta only. Okay, that's why we are taking x equal to sin theta. So, that cos theta with this cos theta will get cancelled. So, we only have integration theta into sin theta d theta. Now, in this integration, we will use integration by parts rule. Okay, so to do that, we... Uh, so Theta is the first function and sin theta is the second function. So theta that means first function into integration of the second function minus integration of differentiation of the first function into integration of second function. Okay. So this is nothing but minus cos theta and differentiation with respect to theta of theta is one only. Okay. In this integration, all are theta. Okay. There is no x. So, we are differentiating with respect to theta as well as integrating with respect to theta. Okay. So, keep that in mind. So, this is also integration of sin theta that is minus cos theta. Okay. So, this quantity is done and for this quantity, again, the integration of cos theta will be applied that is sin theta and this minus and this minus will get plus. Okay. So, we need to get to back to x. So, in place of theta, we are putting sin inverse x. Okay. Why? Because x equal to sin theta. That means theta equal to sin inverse x. And what is the value of cos theta? We know that sin square x plus cos square x equal to 1. So, you put the value of sin theta in that equation. So, what will be the value of cos? That is root over 1 minus x square and this sin theta is x and c will be there because this is an indefinite integration okay so i hope you like this video and if you do please hit the like button don't forget to share this video with your friends i will see you in the next video